This week's mission will focus on removing a sounder from an urban subdivision in Columbus, Georgia. We removed two sounders last year within a half mile from this location, so we are familiar with the area. I meet the homeowner at 9 a.m. so he can show me the rooting damage in his yard. It also allows me an opportunity to recon the neighborhood and determine the most likely location of the pig's bedding area. We use Google Maps often to brainstorm the best bait site location by getting an aerial perspective of the entire area. Also keep in mind, the homeowner who calls animal control is most likely only one of many neighbors experiencing a feral pig problem. A majority of the subdivision damage is located here, and this entire area is underwater. My recon shows pig sign following the subdivision's privacy fence and crossing the railroad tracks into a large tract of woods. Bingo! This is a perfect pinch point for a bait site, according to the map, and the city of Columbus owns the wooded property. I erect a feeder with corn at 10.30 on August 28th and set the digital timer to spin at 8 p.m. First pigs arrive 11 hours later and fed for an hour from 21.30 until 22.30. Looks like a pole and china boar, a red sow, and three red pigs. I have a commitment this weekend to be out of town, so I'll arrive the next morning and install both gates to speed up the process, even though I'm not certain of the number of pigs in my target package yet. Notice the railroad tracks on my left as I bait through the gate threshold. The Poland China boar, whose nickname is now PC, arrives early today to feed during an afternoon rain shower. After the rain, we have new pigs at the feeder. It looks like the same red sow as last night, but now there are six subadult pigs the same size, which are probably her last litter. The other newcomer is a big red spotted boar to round out the eighth pig in this group. I bait the gate thresholds again at lunchtime after the rain slows down to a drizzle. Sounder arrives from the wood line, the right gate, at 20.05, which is only five minutes after the feeder spins. This is the first time all nine pigs have fed together, so it is important to observe their behavior. The big red spotted boar, whose nickname is now Spot, takes a swipe at the red sow when she gets too close to his food. PC also displays dominance towards the red sow when she gets close to him. These are small observations hall control operators should pay attention to, as this information could make the difference between success or failure during capture. Watch PC's behavior with this young gilt. She appears to be coming into estrus, and PC is waiting for an opportunity to breed her. Spot takes notice and intervenes which causes PC to walk away. A sow or gilt in heat, or one coming into estrus, usually makes for a more difficult whole sounder capture because it elevates the testosterone level of every boar in the area. Sounder Intel verifies our target package consists of three adults and six subadults. I'll count Spot and PC as part of our trapping target package as they are likely to stick around as long as the guilt is in heat. Whether I can keep both of them in the trap at the same time might be a different story. Our performance standard is whole sounder removal, which means we must remove all nine pigs expending the least amount of fuel, time, labor, and money. I arrive after lunch to build the mine trapping system. I quickly install six trap panels on the left from the trailer's left side and six trap panels on the right from the trailer's right side, which are already facing the correct direction. These two gates have been in the field for nine years straight and have captured hundreds of feral pigs. Always test drop gates using the Jaeger Pro app to ensure the mine live video camera is wirelessly paired to the control box receiver. I start baiting six feet inside the gate threshold, which is more than PC's body length. I also spread a half bucket of corn throughout the entire trap enclosure 
to give everyone plenty of space. Baiting in this manner should reduce fighting and will force everyone to enter the trap before they are rewarded with a meal. The red sow and two pigs arrive to the right gate at 20:29. Spot and three pigs arrive a couple minutes later. Seven of nine are following the script, but I'm still missing PC and the last sub-adult. Finally, three minutes later, I see them walking around the trap and approaching the right gate. Spot also notices the late arrivals and cuts off PC, but allows the guilt to enter. PC thinks twice about walking through the right gate and heads towards the left entrance. Two minutes later, a young black boar I've never seen before arrives at the right gate. <laughs> Remember what I said earlier about a female in heat. Everyone is feeding contently three minutes later. I just need the black boar on the right to take one more step forward. Thank you. The boars are a little upset and start taking it out on each other. I arrive an hour later and quickly euthanized the sounder using a suppressed 22 caliber rifle. One thing I've noticed as I've got older, I don't like to bend over, especially when you're dealing with bigger boars. So the guys in the shop took uh, some of our round stock and created you know, what we call a, a hog hook. Uh, the reason I like this, I don't have to put on my rubber gloves in order to handle bigger pigs. Whenever we hook them through the jaw, and pull them out by the head. We're actually dragging them uh, in the direction of their hair, so they're they're pulling easier. And whenever I come out the gate, their head is facing the the camera for the picture. So basically, all you have to do, um, put this hook. Uh, we got a little T handle at the end. We we just hook this into their jaw this way. And then whenever we 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 pull them, whenever you get to where you. Uh, <laughs> your final destination you just spin it back out so it's a uh, actually an ingenious uh, little device that we have to make our job in the field much easier now i'll demonstrate the step-by-step post-capture process for collecting harvest data and loading euthanized pigs onto a trailer for disposal first ensure safety is properly installed to prevent an accidental gate drop we display largest to smallest for photographs, so I've already made a mental calculation to form two rows with four adults in the back and six sub-adults in the front. Visually assess which side a majority of the largest adults are laying to minimize labor needed to turn them over. Spot is largest and laying on his left side, so he takes the far right position. PC is next largest and already laying on his left side. Leave the other two adults until last to create a walkway for dragging six sub-adult pigs to the front row. Normally, I would start on the same side with the front row as well, but did not want to interrupt Chris shooting footage. Pull pigs at least three feet past their final position so you're not tripping over them while handling the last two adults. After the final front row pig is placed, then finish dragging the back row into position. Next in size is the red sow. And finally, the black boar. Now that the back row is positioned evenly across the gate threshold, it will be easier to judge the front row's position. This is a good time to sex all pigs and collect data for the harvest efficiency report before making any final adjustments prior to taking photographs. JaegerPro is the only company demonstrating that a whole sounder capture process is possible during every event, and professional photographs are necessary for data 
media, and science-related purposes. We take one close-up with an iPhone, which is sent immediately to either the farmer, landowner, or animal control agency with the harvest efficiency report. Then take at least four different angles for research purposes to match against previous ice scan photos from the field. I immediately sent a photo with 30 seconds of capture footage to the homeowner I met Monday morning. He simply responded with, you work quick. When loading, place the smallest front row pigs in the trailer front and place the largest adult back row pigs in the trailer back. I already called my friend Felix, who is meeting me at the office. His church's youth group definitely has plans for this load of wild pork. We removed 10 of 9 targeted pigs with a last minute bonus board for 100% removal success and a go in all measured areas. Day rating on the solar lunar table is excellent with a 95% on a full moon. Capture takes place on a minor time peak, 35 minutes after sunset, within hours of building the trap enclosure. I expended one and a half hours of labor to capture 10 pigs, which is only nine minutes of labor per pig. On this contract, an hour and a half of labor will prevent $4,000 of future annual damage to both the city and homeowner's property. This is a return on labor of $2,666.67 per hour. From Monday morning at 10.30 until Thursday night at 20.40 was only 82 hours, so it was pretty quick work. It is always a pleasure to service our customers in a timely manner.